This is going well. All right, I got another one. Oh, wait, no, yeah, she's okay. got one. No, 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 you're good. Go for it. Okay. All right. Um, so you, I'm going to give you a, a little dog question here, all right? A little what question, sorry, sir? A dog question. Oh, okay. The lady's walking her dog. Uh, you're off duty. You have your you have your firearm on you. Let though, me stop you there, sir. An officer is never off duty. You're an off duty officer right now. Yep. Okay. And uh, this dog starts attacking you, and it's it's a smaller dog. It's like a we'll call it like a beagle. It's a pretty yep. pretty small dog. And it's just continuous continuously attacking. Sorry, you. What a, are you gonna a, do? A Chill beagle. Me. Yeah, a beagle. Chilly. I'm not sure what that is. I might actually just have a look at what a beagle okay, is. Okay, we'll go with like a corgi. It's a, it's a little corgi. Oh, corgi. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it's just it's just biting at you. It's just biting me, is it? Yeah. What are you going to do? Oh, well, as, as a man of my stature, unique build, six foot three, sir. Um, I would try and use as least lethal action as possible, with it only being a small dog. I feel as though I would be able to grip it by its collar. Um, and I don't think there'll be any use for, a, maybe, if needs be, a taser. But I certainly would not be shooting that fight, that dog, That's especially considering it's in a public park. There'll be kids around, and I do not want to scar these children for life, sir. Okay. Okay. So you, you bend over, your pants split, and you lose grip of the collar, and he still keeps biting you. Now what? I've been saying, Mom, can you please come and get your dog under control? She's she giving the dog's order to, to keep going. Yeah, she's, she's giving the dog's order. Oh, I'll yeah, probably taste her. That's a joke. You. She slaps me, does she? No, no, I would pull yeah. out the taser and the baton if needed. Because if she tries to get aggressive with me, I'll retaliate and start getting aggressive with her. It escalated very quickly. Okay, now I've... I've I've put the dog out clean, love. I've hit it with a bat on. That's knocked out now. Now I'll deal with the human being that's coming and trying to attack me. I'll be giving her a swift bat into the leg. Let her know she's got a dead leg there. As she goes and goes, oh, oh, my leg. Tackle her to the ground and put her in cuffs. Restrain, caught, and then I'll be going, but I'll be getting my phone out. Hello, is that 911? Uh, I'd like to report an emergency, please. I've got a mad woman. Miles away, but girl, tonight you look so pretty. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Times Square can't shine as bright as you. I swear it's true. God. Hey there, Delilah, don't All you right, well, worry you about the distance. I'm right, right there. Right. If you get lonely, give this song another listen. Close your eyes. Listen to my voice, it's my disguise. I'm by your side. Oh, it's what you do to me. Oh, it's what you do to me. Can I go grab this? Oh, soldier? it's what you do to me. I think there's some in the break room. <laughs> oh, it's what you I'm do go to grab me. <laughs> <clears throat> we'll be back. Oh. Would you like to keep done? going, though? That was good. That was, that was fine. <laughs> I'm actually gonna get front row seat. Okay. Uh, yeah. Hey there, yeah. Delilah. I know times yeah, are getting. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, you sure? Yeah, I you I've got a, I've got a second and... song. I did oh, hear it, and so did my caller. Thank you. You're very welcome. Tell them I normally charge per hour for that. Yeah, it was uh, it was a lawyer. Yeah. All right. Question. You've talked a lot about how you're good at uh, being aggressive and firm. Uh, tell me about a situation where you've done the opposite, so you de-escalated and calmed the situation down. Um, there was a jewelry robbery. <clears throat> Sorry, I'll start that again. A jewelry robbery in another city. Um, of course, there was four hostages. Okay, and there was six gunmen. Now, I managed to de-escalate that because I was actually at the station as this was going on doing paperwork as I did trust my other officers to be there and deal with it. However, I got radioed in that the... the um, Hostage takers were being very, very aggressive and it was actually escalating very much. So the first thing I did was get in my vehicle, put the sirens on, straight down to that jewellery store. I've then walked into there and I've gone, listen, this is what's going to happen and this is it only. I've gave, I've, what I've done there is, if you've not realised, I've gave them an ultimatum. And it's almost as if you listen to me, I'm the one in charge here and I, I, I'll listen to your demands 
if you just listen to me, that's all I'm asking. And I've gone in there and I've took all four hostages out. And what I've actually done is I've talked the gunmen out of robbing the store. All six of them handed the weapons over and said, do you know what, Chief, you're right. And all six walked straight into custody. That's great. Thank you. Now, uh, okay, I'm going to run you through another situation like this with hostages. There was uh, hostages in that one, sir. Yeah, well, well it's going to be another situation with hostages. Okay. You're at a, you're at a, like a bank robbery. Yeah. Uh, by the pink cage, right? Uh, whereabouts got, is that on the GPS, sorry? Uh, it's just north of pillbox. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, you got like uh, five other officers with you. There's uh, two suspects inside. There's only one at the front, one in the back robbing the shit. There's one hostage. The guy with the gun at the hostage puts the gun down and starts smoking a joint. What do you do? So you say there was only two suspects, one at the back and one at the front? Yeah. And he's now put the weapon down? Yeah, he's smoking a joint. Okay, I would tase the man. Um, mm -hmm. Then have one of my other officers Aye. rush him, restrain him. And then we would... Um, what's the word the people use, I'm afraid? Uh, rush the back with the other remaining officers. Breach. Make sure... Breach, that's the word, yeah. Make mm -hmm. sure we get the hostage out, first of all, immediately, because that is the number one priority there. And then we would breach the back and arrest the second, um, the second suspect. Sounds good. I mean, that's, that's how I would do it as well. Thank I would you. instantly, whenever I'm tasing the person, instantly scream at the hostage to run out the front while you're having people swarm, and you pretty much do that. So, yeah. Thank you. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty Thank good you. Answer. Yeah. Uh, can you work Sundays? Can I work Sundays? Yeah. Um, how about I work every day? Okay. Uh, what time? Uh, yeah, do, do you understand that you're applying for shift two, which begins at 6 p.m. Eastern? It wasn't I told I was applying for a certain shift. I was just told I was applying for the MRPD. The LSPD? The LSPD, sorry, yes. Okay, all right. What uh, What is more than likely your hours? I'd say... Would you like my hours in... What was it you just said then? PST? EST. PST. E EST. E -S -T. E -S -T. Okay. EST. Now then, just let me work out what that would be. It's currently nine in Eastern time. It's about five, five, I think it's five or six hours difference, I think, for your, for your, you know, the phone time. I think your, your, the time on your phone's a bit wrong. Yes, it could be. Um, I would work anywhere from 11 a.m. EST. All right. Big can you got there, mate? Sorry about that. What flavor monster is it? Original. Ooh. I'm an Apples, Claire. Uh, do you have any questions for us? Um, I do, actually. Um, I would like to ask the question, how often do we reach for lethal um, force in this city? As I like to... All the to... Damn time, every day. No, I understand it will be every day, but I mean... How far are we willing to give the criminal to give a chance to show us that he's willing to work, to show them actually, because not all criminals are males, um, to show us that he, they are willing to work with us and not against us. Uh, we so typically someone, give, oh, go ahead, Ruby. Yeah, if someone shoots you, you're just gonna say, oh, don't worry about it, mate. Of course not, Ruby, that's not what I was implying there. I was implying maybe they are running Okay, and let's say we tackle them. Do we tackle them and cuff them immediately or do we give them a chance to stand up and put their arms in the air and say, do you know what? Yeah, 
I've made a mistake. Take to me, take me to custody because I need to be taught a lesson. It's all yours, Bones. Uh, I was just gonna say, uh, we typically uh, give people warnings like, "Hey, put that gun away, or you're gonna get shot." And if they don't put it away, they get shot. Or, "Hey, if you ram our vehicle at high speeds again, you're gonna get shot." And then we, we shoot, kill. We uh, we do a lot of vocalization before we. Okay, so there's a lot of vocal warning force. in this city. Exactly. I like yeah, that. Yeah, but you. Another thing that you're gonna have to do is stick true to your your promises, right? Because if if you give this warning and they're not listening and you don't follow through, they're gonna keep doing that every time. So. You gotta be if you don't have your word then you don't have nothing yeah so always follow through when it's proper yes okay you know i've been studying now what might help you is learning the you know the five levels of force yeah you know it, that might help you to be honest okay i could i could you give want, you the paper yeah i'd love the paper you yeah. tell him T yeah, what, tell yeah, him, what did he tell, tell me, sir? the five levels. Yeah, yeah, I tell, yeah he said, you know, presence, you know, officer presence, you know, that's a big thing. A lot of people don't realize, you know, you, you'll just be in there, you know, and then, that, you know, in that area, you know, already, already creates, you know. An atmosphere. Uh, yeah, you know, a, you know, a different, a different you know, kind of situation when you're not being there. You know what yeah. I mean? This, this uniform carries, a, you know, a lot of weight. An you know aura. What I'm so, yes, exactly, you know. You know, next, I mean... Uh, you're available, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, little things, you know, you know, stop right there, you know, all that. Yeah. You know, okay, you know. Sure. <laughs> now, then we go to deadly. No, I'm just kidding. We got empty hand, you know, fist to fist. What? what the hell? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, continue, continue, yeah. You a little nervous? Very. What the hell, man? You need to apologize. He was giving you the levels of force. Damn. My deepest apologies there. Um, well, you gotta apologize yeah. to him. Yeah, no, no, yeah. no, I'm more than happy to apologize to him. I can, I can only apologize. It's, I thought it would, it'd be silent. And I'm really sorry. It's quite embarrassing. All right, let, let me just see if he's. <laughs> What's your name again, man? Uh, Barry, sir. Barry McCockey. Barry what? Said what? Man, I gotta head back in there. Uh, Barry McCocker. <laughs> <laughs> you got ID? Um, yeah. Sir, I'd like to apologize. Um, I thought I thought that one was safe. Barry, there is no fucking way your name is Barry McCockiner. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. My family built this city. Do they own Microsoft too? I mean, Jesus Christ. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, Barry McCockiner. <laughs> Sir, are you gonna. Are we gonna go by, like, Officer McCockiner? Is that what you're gonna go by? Uh, j just Barry will do. I, I, I think. I think Barry. Barry's probably, probably the best, best option, to be honest. I don't. I don't mind my cock in her either. Have you thought about a legal name change? Um, I don't think that's necessary, sir. I think it is. I don't. What's wrong with my cock in her? I come from an Irish background. Top of the morning to you. Well, it's just like the whole like if you say it fast, Barry McCockiner. It's it's a little. Sir, do not be so rude. You are wearing the LSPD rude, sir, badge. Have, you know, we have standards here at this police department. Absolutely. So disrespecting someone's name is absolutely way under the standards, I can only imagine. Barry McCockin has been a name that has been represented through my family in a very, very long time. Oh. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm going to step out as well. <laughs> this is guy. 
they read my cock in it? Why are they Slack spring in us. Barry McCockiner. <laughs> they keep shitting themselves on the fucking podium. <laughs> Coward. Barry People out there that are, that look like they they're having sex in the lobby. You, you got a guy over here that's that's farting up a storm. Hey. Next slim shake. Greetings. Be in contact with you, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna we're gonna be in contact. We appreciate the interview. Um, yeah, it, it was good. Next uh, next time, maybe don't come if we if we have a follow up interview. Make sure you don't eat before uh, you come in here. I don't know what you ate, uh, but maybe come on like maybe just stick to like a, a bland something bland before you come in here. I'd like to hold my hands up and apologize again. It's all right because. All right. Uh, um. I'm There's a lot of people sorry. that heard you in the lobby. Uh, if you don't want to get seen by them, because uh, you were on the mic and that kind of all that, we can just let you out the side date. Uh, no, yeah. sorry. So I'm, I'm willing to. I don't shy oh, away okay. from embarrassment. Once I've made a mistake, I'll own up to it. All right. All right. Well, you have a good day. We're going to be in contact <coughs> with you. Can you uh, show me your phone number and your ID one more time? Uh, yes, sir. Thank you. Have you got an ETA for how long to make your decision, sir? Or? Uh, I would have to talk to Slacks. No. And then uh, he'll be in contact. <laughs> And your phone number, please. Uh, four two zero. All right. Three one five. Three five, two three. All right. Thank you. All no right. Worries. You have a good rest of your day. Uh, we'll let you out the out the side. You right. too, sir. Thank you. No worries. I'll text you as well, so I have your number. Thank you. It uh, was l lovely to to meet you, Barry. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah. Today, I really, I do really appreciate it. Yeah, wow. and don't See forget. Okay. I always follow through. Okay. Okay. Th thank you, Barry. Thank you. No, sorry. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I got a six pack from laughing. Oh my God. Oh my God. That is unbelievable. That is unbelievable. Wow. Oh my god. I have been dishonored. And I will regain my honor. <laughs> oh yeah, what could possibly go wrong?